Hey, hey, I'm Naya. Welcome back to the channel. So um, as you can see, my setup has changed. Um, we have upgraded. So I felt like it was time, you know, we have reached 1000 subscribers, which I am so like amazed by and so thankful for. So I want to say thank you one more time. <laughs> uh, and yeah, my sound was kind of trash in the other room like in the kitchen was very echoey and i just felt like you know this is not the quality uh i'm going for anymore because you know you deserve better honestly and um this is the setup we came up with hopefully um i learned to speak in the mic so you can hear me and still see me so today this video is just um you know it's the first one so bear with me <laughs> um yeah this is uh our stuff our cards and everything so feel free to look around also so as for this video we're gonna talk about the brave token stuff again like we have been talking about in the past couple of videos but i did make just the phantom knights and just the prank kids deck profiles with the brave stuff and i just figured why not mention the actual engine talk about it talk about what the cards actually do go through the combo so we have this one video where we can all turn to and you know there's just adventure stuff as it's going to be called so that's what we're going to be talking about so first of all let's just go over the cards um i will still probably call them by their old translated name just because the new stuff is not official i guess since the cards haven't been released so the brave token stuff or the adventurer token stuff uh the first one i guess we can mention would be the monster so the aquamancer of the sanctuary or the water enchantress of the temple as it's i'm sure going to be called in the tcg uh, and basically her effect is she has two effects if you control a brave token one of them being that she can special summon herself it is an activated effect so keep that in mind and then the other one is that you can place a field spell that mentions brave token in its text in the field spell zone and then her other effect actually gets the combo going is the effect where you can banish her from your hand or graveyard to search for right right of aramesia or right of aramesir i'm pretty sure some something like that it's going to be called something like that uh, so you can add it from your deck to your hand and why she is also very important is for the fact that she's a level three which ties together perfectly with virtual world and also phantom knights and it's interesting because both of these decks can be played with the brave token stuff because one of the brave token well important things to mention would be their restriction so the spell we're going to be mentioning now the right of amnesia basically says that the turn you activate this card you cannot activate monsters effects on the field except for special summon monsters so if you have a deck that's very much focused on something like your normal summon going through you know you cannot you cannot activate those cards so important thing to note when it comes to phantom knight if you activate Torn Scales effect, you cannot use the Brave Token stuff in the same turn. And that's also why usually the Phantom Knight's builds just stray away from Tour Guide since Tour Guide has an effect on the normal summon. So what the spell says is that if you do not control Brave Token, you can special summon one Brave Token and then you can place in the Spell and Trap card zone if you do not control it yet, one Journey of Destiny, which is their in archetype continuous spell. And also something to note is that the token is not restricted to be special summoned in any way, so it can be either attack or defense, and it also has big stats. It has 2000 attack and 2000 defense, and it's a level 4 earth fairy. Uh, and you can also only activate one Rite of Aramesia per turn. So as for Journey of Destiny, I just have it pulled up here on my phone because it has a long text, so I think it's better if I just read through it and then we can we can mention all of the effects again and go through it so basically each each turn the first time a monster you control equipped with an with an equipped card would be destroyed by battle it is not destroyed so this is important because in the combo you actually search an equip spell now basically usually it's just a discard father um but you can still equip it at some point because it doesn't have a very like a bad effect it's it's decent so it's important to know that the first time the monster equipped would not be destroyed and then also you can only use each of the following effects once per turn and it just says that during your main phase you can add one monster that mentions brave token from your deck to your hand and send one card from your hand to the graveyard so you know remember this this is very similar to virtual world stuff where you would just discard off of Qinglong, discard off of Zhang Wu, like just 
send a card from your hand to the graveyard when you add the monster. So basically why this effect is important is you play the equip spell like I mentioned before and if you do not have a card to send off of Journey of Destiny this is your best way of getting it because basically you would just normal or special summon something, get the equip spell and then later on when you would during the main phase, like the card says, activate the effect to search, then you can just send the equip spell you just added. But this is like in the worst case scenario because you can use this, for example, in the prank kids deck, if you have the option to go into the Journey of Destiny stuff, you would just special summon Meow Meow because the first time your prank it monster activates is the point where you're most hurt by Ash or something like this. So you can just chain block it by using Journey of Destiny by special summoning Meow Meow and just going, okay, prank it's effect, chain link one, and then search of the Journey of Destiny, chain link two. So the equip spell is called Draco Back the Dragon Steed and you can only equip it to a monster you control and you can only control one. And then it just says that while it's equipped to a non-effect monster you can target one card your opponent controls and return it to the hand and if the uh, equip spell is sent to the graveyard you can target a brave token and equip it to it from the graveyard all right and then as for the last card that you actually search in your combo it will be wandering griffin rider so basically this card is searched through the combo with the intention of providing a negate because it just says that if you control no monsters or if you control brave token it's also an activated effect you can special summon this card from your hand and also it's not restricted whether it's attack or defense and then if you control brave token you can if a card or effect is activated shuffle back this card to the deck and and if you do, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. And you can only use each effect once per turn. So uh, shuffling back is obviously not a cost, it's all part of the effect, so it needs to be shuffled back in order to negate the card. And the condition to even activate it is you need to control Brave Token. So going through the combo, I just uh, did it on Dueling Books. So uh, yeah, you're just gonna look at the combo and I'm gonna explain it. So what would happen in the perfect scenario is you would open either Foolish Burial to get the Aquamancer to the graveyard or you would open the Aquamancer itself. So you would like banish it from the graveyard or from your hand so you can search Right of Aramnesia and then with the Right of Aramnesia, you make a token and also place a Journey of Destiny face up in the Spell and Trap card zone. And then you can either, first of all, special or normal summon something so you can get the equip spell to send it off of Journey of Destiny. Or if you have a card to discard, you can just go Journey of Destiny effect, search for the Wandering Griffin Rider, send the card from your hand to the graveyard, and then you can activate Wandering Griffin Rider's effect to special summon it so you can have a negate ready and then obviously you have the token on board because of right of amnesia so that would be like the basic stuff now if you decide to play brave token in something like phantom knights for example like we mentioned before uh Cherubini is a monster that can send Aquamancer to the graveyard so it doesn't have to be foolish and you don't have to hard open it but that's just for that particular strategy you would send it to the graveyard activate its effect there and then you can go for all of the other stuff and also one last thing to note is that with the journey of destiny you don't have to specifically search for the negate because as mentioned before Aquamancer being level 3 provides in being Aquamancer being an incredible extender for something like Virtual World, something like Phantom Knights, uh, and you can just search it via Journey of Destiny and have a free level 3 monster since it is a special summon, but you do need to keep in mind that you do have to control Brave Token, so in all of this um, well, combo to work, you would have had to activate a Rite of Aramnesia beforehand, so you actually did control Brave Token. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully this um, sort of clears everything up, you know, when it comes to what all of the cards actually do, how they interact with some of the decks. And of course, I will also be going more in depth in, you know, also not just Phantom Knights and Prank Kids when it comes to Brave Token. So you will have even more Brave Token content, but with this video, I only wanted to accomplish well, what, what I just did. So you know what the cards do, what happens, what the combo is. And that's pretty much it. So if you liked the video, if you felt like you learned anything, give it a like and also give me a sub. And please let me know what you think of my setup. Let me know how I'm do doing with all of the, with the sound and everything, you know, just chat with me because I love to hear all, all of your responses so I know how I can better myself and improve myself. So yeah, um, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Peace.